Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw some nachos. So hope you get to follow along and enjoy this fun video today. Now to start off with our nachos, let's begin with the actual basket. So we want to start by making a line that's going to come across. So let's start right here and we're just going to make a straight line and I'm going to stop right about there. Then I'm going to leave a little bit of space and I'm going to continue a little bit farther. The reason I left this is because I want to make it look like there's some cheese or toppings coming down here. Next I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down at an angle. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just going to come down at an angle. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that comes across to connect. Now, starting up here, I'm going to draw the cheese first before I make all of the chips in there. So I'm going to begin, and I'll start by drawing some lines that just kind of go down and then over. And then I'm just going to make some like long, kind of wavy, like drippy lines on here. You can kind of put these all over. There's no really right or wrong way to do it. I'm just going to make some long, kind of bumpy lines so it looks like the cheese is really melty. And I'm going to kind of put these all over. I'll make one that kind of goes up and down up here. That way it looks like it's actually sitting on a chip. And then we'll just kind of bring this down. I'll make a curved line here and then I'll make some more wavy lines in here, kind of where I made that left that little opening. Then I'll put a little bit more over here. Now also on top of here, I'm going to make some circle and oval shapes on some of these as well. And these are going to be like little jalapenos in here. I can also put these in some of the open spaces too. I'll make some half ones as well. Then inside of these, I'm just going to make kind of like a bumpy shape in here just to kind of show that those are the inside of like a jalapeno. Some are almost kind of like a star shape. And we're just going to kind of put these all around here. Now let's come in here and add some of the chips. So I'm just going to start here and I'll make a little line that's going to go down and over. Then I'll make another little pointy one out here. I'll make another little kind of pointy line here and then we'll just kind of connect them in here. So all you want to do is just kind of make some triangular shapes in here, kind of all around just so it looks like it's really filled up. I'll put another one over here. Now we can also add some other different toppings on our nachos as well. So I'm going to come in here and add some meat in here. So I'm just going to make some little bumpy lines on here and I'll put it on top of some of the cheese and different things. And we're just going to make these kind of like little bumpy line shapes all around here. And this will just kind of give it the effect that like there's some meat on here. I'm also going to make little squares on here as well. We kind of put these all over. And this is just going to be for like little tomatoes. So we can kind of put these inside the cheese, on top, wherever you want to. Just to add a little bit more color in here when we do this and when we start coloring and just to give it a little bit more detail. Then on top here I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve up and down. Another one that's going to curve up and down higher. And then one that's going to kind of come in and curve up and down. We'll make a little point on top for like some sour cream because a lot of people like that on top of their nachos. Then the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to put one of my favorite toppings on there and that is little black olives. So I'm just going to make some little circle shapes in here. 
with a little circle inside of there just to make it look like there are little chopped up olives on here. You can do like some little half circles too. And I'm just gonna kinda put these all around here so it looks like our nachos are really, really loaded up. They do look a little bit like eyeballs on here, but they won't once we start getting this all colored. So we're just gonna put some of these all around. Then on our chips, I like to just come in here and add some little black dots on here. And this just makes a little bit of detail and texture on our chips and makes them kind of stand out and pop out a little more. Now down here, I'm going to make a little line, it's just going to kind of go up. And then I'm just going to make it kind of wiggly and wavy here so it looks like some cheese fell. I'll put some little kind of squares and stuff in here for tomatoes. And then maybe a little circle in here for like an olive. Then the last thing is I'm going to add a little face on here. I'll just begin by making a circle for an eye. Leave some space and I'll make another circle for an eye. Then I'll put a little black dot inside each one for the pupils. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come across the top. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down. I want to make a line that's going to come down. It's going to curve around. And then I'll add a little line here. Then we'll add some little bumpy teeth on top with a line down. Then I'm just going to add some little lines coming down for a little bit of detail on our little nacho boat here. So we're just going to add a few little lines coming down. And there you go, there is your drawing of some loaded nachos. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.